Hello, this is James Seth Lynch. Uh, mic adjustment. And uh, welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fallout New Vegas. I hope you can hear me well. I know it's dark and you guys can't see anything, even though I can see everything perfectly. <laughs> uh, we had to go back because we needed to pick up this. So anyway, um, I hope I didn't say anything uh, stupid <laughs> uh, during that last episode, but uh, uh, going on our theme of legal things lately, uh, apparently one of my videos got banned in Germany uh, because I forgot to change the license from standard YouTube license to uh, community com, com, whatever the second one is creative commons yeah creative commons attribution um, and now I can't switch it to creative commons attribution because again apparently I violated copyrights but for because of the song that was playing in the radio one but the thing is I didn't uh, I don't have to show copyright information for any of the music or anything that's in this game um, because either it's part of uh, either it's part of a mod which means it's under Creative Commons Attribution um, or it's part of the game which means it's already been licensed uh, by Bethesda and I've already uh, done all the correct I haven't broken any rules for their copyright. Everyone knows this is modded. This is uh, Fallout New Vegas. Okay. Um, it's their game. I'm just doing uh, this. This uh, little recording of it. So yeah. So I'm gonna see what I can do to fix that. I'm probably gonna have to fight with YouTube, but hopefully this will be simple. Oh, sorry. Can I help you? I have the inversion coil and solar panel we need. I don't even want to ask you how you found that stuff. The look on your face says it all. Well, I guess it's a good thing I went ahead and prepped a spot for that solar panel then. Head over behind the school and look for the dark spot where I was digging. Grab that shovel and go ahead and mount the solar panel, if you will. It's just two wires to hook up, so it's not real complicated. Alright. We have really good repair skills, so this should be simple. Alright. Install the solar panel. Hey, jalapenos. Alright. Ah, a wrench. Alright, I know one of you has a wrench. Don't touch Mr. Killingsworth. Because since you know we've dived deep into the Brotherhood of Steel some and the NCR and got a lot of the story, I'm sure you guys won't mind if I take a break and enjoy some mods.
Repcon. Yes, Repcon. Uh, <laughs> very, very important uh, company. And uh, it, as you can see, the name is similar to Retcon. And uh, that is simply because uh, it, it, there is a Retcon uh, revolving Retcon. <laughs> Um, but it's only a it, it's only a repcon in terms of retcons uh, Fallout 3, by the way. Uh, and I'm totally fine with that because Fallout 3 retcons an insane amount of other things from the first two games, which this game doesn't. That's a lot bigger than it was before. Uh, but okay. Let's do this! Again, that thing I was saying about the whole license thing, thing, from what I understand, yeah, I haven't broken any rules. Not really, except for forgetting to switch the license to something it should have been. From what I understand. Can I help you with something? Okay, the solar panel is up. What's next? Wow, well, that must have gone smoothly. You're becoming an old pro at this stuff. You ain't trying to take my job, are you? I'd hate to think I'd be moping around town the rest of my life. Belly aching, and you took my job. Anyway, this next part's going to be tricky. But I've got faith in you and know you can handle the job. You're gonna get everything powered up. But that UPS still needs some fresh parts. You'll need to install that coil, six fresh fission batteries, and four fresh conductors to get it online. It might sound like a hard job, but it's pretty simple, really. Everything just plugs in exactly where it looks like it should go. So all you have to do is swap out the old stuff for the new. Easy as pie. You think you can handle it? Sure thing. Sounds like a piece of cake. One last thing. When that UPS comes online, I need you to look inside and see what the output display is reading. Write it down and bring it back to me. I need to set the calibration for the solar panel with it. Alright. Uh, so yeah, another... <coughs> Sorry. Another foraging quest. And I actually really like foraging quests uh, instead of the standard fetch quest, because you don't have to go to the specific area, you can just roam around collecting things. And I actually didn't know we were supposed to be uh, we were supposed to be collecting conductors, otherwise I would have collected some. What's up? Um sure. But, uh, yeah, we don't have any. Uh, I do remember picking up some fission batteries. Yeah, let's go. Uh, but no conductors, so... Foraging time! So, uh, and because it's a foraging quest, you can just do it along with whatever you're doing. So, yeah, we'll be going back to, uh, something more important. I actually don't know what we'll be doing. I have no idea. I haven't planned this far. So, yeah. The midnight special and I think light on me. Mm. Let's see. Let's look at our health. Uh to eighty. And by the way, in the next episode I'm gonna uh check the uh um, I'm gonna check the tip boy background poll and uh see if anything changed. If not, I'm still gonna remove the cat. Because I'm tired of the cat. It's got to be a quiet night. Oh yeah, I, I know you got it was what you guys voted on, but you guys got to see it for a couple of episodes. If you guys really want the cat to stay, then I'll do it. Uh, but for now, I just uh, want to.
change into something I'd like. You guys understand, right? So, yeah. Batteries. Are good. Uh, I guess it's time for us to go over here. We should probably just do what we need to do for uh, uh, for Kelsey Love here. Huh. No voice on that one. Interesting. But he's right. better automatic weapon. Absolutely. You guys are already familiar with this mod, I'm sure. And there's just, uh... You know, I'm pretty... These guys are so buggy that... You know, you can just step on them and they'll die. But there are times where if they like attack, you'll just see me squish that one. If if they if you, they just attack, they'll get themselves killed immediately. Like weird suicide bugs. I don't even know why I have all these mantis in, mantises in here. Manti. Uh, whatever. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the next episode, and um, what's going to happen is I'm probably going to tweak my health. Uh, the, yeah, the endurance multiplier for my health, I'm probably just going to put it as 10 instead of 20. Because uh, with 20, I figured, hey, it'll mean endurance means more, but... Um, Turns out that well, it, there's already a one 100 health points that you have. So eventually, so I just have too much health again, and yeah. Uh, so I'll be doing some rebalancing because things are too easy. I'll see you guys later. Bye.